Now it's time to hear from the champion, Yannick Sinner. Your first U.S. Open, the first Italian man to claim this title in history. What does it mean to you, Yannick? Yeah, it, uh, hello everyone, first of all, and I would like to start with Taylor. He is, uh, I know how much work he, he puts in. Um, you are doing an amazing job. Uh, congrats to you, uh, Taylor, and, and the whole team. Um, it's, it's, it's so nice to see you in big stages like this, and uh, I'm quite sure that you are going to play many of those, so I wish you best of luck for, for the future. Yeah, this title for me means means so much because the the last period of of my career was was really not easy. Um, there is my my team who who supports me every day. The people who are close to me. Um, it. Uh, I love tennis. I I I practice a lot for for this kind of stages, but I also realized that off the court there is there is a life. I I would like to dedicate this this uh, title to to my aunt um, because she is really not feeling well health-wise. I don't know how much I I still have her in my life. So um, I it's. It's so nice that I can share positive moments still, still with her. She, she was a very important person for my life, and then and, and she still is. So, um, if that would be the biggest wish, I, I would wish everyone the, 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 the best health to, to everyone. But uh, unfortunately, it's not possible. But. You came into this tournament saying, I'm not sure I have very high expectations. For someone with low expectations for how he might perform, how did you get this done over two weeks? I did pretty well, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, uh, you know, we, we just went day by day, you know, trying to, to practice well, even in the days off. Believing in ourselves, which is the most important. Um, I understood, especially in this tournament, how, how important the, the mental part is in this sport and I guess in, in every sport. So, uh, yeah, I'm very happy, very proud to share this moment with, with my team. I know there are a lot of people watching from home, but I would like to thank everyone for being so fair in this, in this amazing uh, arena. So, it's, uh, it was a huge pleasure. Finally, Dr. Hainline said it. You are number one in the world, far and away. You've now won two major titles this year. To put in perspective how difficult that is, you are only the fourth man in more than 50 years to win your first two major titles in the same calendar year. You have had a hell of a year. How would you phrase it? How would you describe the year? <laughs> yeah, incredible, no? It's, uh, so many big wins for me this season, um, starting off with Australia and then playing so well there, which then gave me confidence for, for until now. But, you know, we, the work never, never stops. Um, I know that I still can improve, as we saw also today, a couple of things. But, you know, you have to be proud with, with what you have and the rest you... You have to go for it, you have to work for it, so I can't wait for, uh, for my continued process. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> and now comes the real fun stuff. First, to present you with a check for $3,600,000. Claudia Jury from JP Morgan. Many, many congratulations. Thank you. So much. Thank you. you have made Italy proud, and I wore the orange just <laughs> Thank for you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank congratulations. You. Thank you so much. And now to present the champions' trophy, Andre Agassi.
take a step forward. Your 2024 U.S. Open men's champion, Yannick Sinner! Pretty thoughtful young man, huh? Talking about family. Yeah. Perspective. He's gained perspective in many ways this season. He's also gained a lot of fans and a nice slew of titles to go with it. He's kind of like that uh, the duck paddling on the water, isn't he? He looks real smooth on the surface. You talk about how languid his movement is, but there's been a lot of turbulence under the water for him in this season, and uh, he's persevered.